has released an update for Apple Classroom. And as you'll notice on the screen here, we now have a new tab called Agendas. And Agendas is a great way to allow you to organize the flow within your lesson, set activities for students, remind you to do certain things. It's basically like a lesson planning opportunity. So let's jump in and take a look at what Agendas looks like. I can start a new agenda by creating an agenda here and just give this agenda a name. I'll just call it demo for now and tap create. And then this is your creation space. So you can see on the left-hand side, we have our agenda and then we start off with what that first thing is going to be. So again, thinking about that lesson plan, lesson flow, what you might put in. Now on the right-hand side, these are the items that you're going to add into this. So you'll notice at the top, you can set a timer. So how long do you want this thing to last for? And you can set this down here. And then when that timer ends, what do you want to happen? So it could be an alert to you to say that, you know, students have finished doing the piece of work you've set them. So you're going to you know move them on or whatever it might be. Um, or you can do nothing. And then you can set it to auto advance as well. Now, this will make a little bit more sense when we put a few more agenda items in. in. But basically, it'll either just alert you um, that something's happened um, or it will move on to the next thing automatically. Underneath it then is your list of actions. So these are the things that you can have it do for you. So under those add actions, you can see that I have that option similar to in Apple Classroom where we can do all of this, but this is now automating it for us. So I can have this open specific apps on my device or on the students' devices. I can have it go to specific websites or pages within books that you might have on yours and the students' devices. Lock the students' devices, unlock them, mute, or hide everything. So again, we're just really thinking about that lesson flow becoming a little bit more automated. Great for if you just want students to have that time where they're dedicated on the device, but equally you want that time when they're not. But rather than you having to go in and manually do that each time, you can kind of set an agenda to say, quiet work, whatever it might be. So let's take a look at that then. If we jump over onto our agenda, let's say that we're going to set this then as quiet work or research, let's say it's from research time. On this side, I'm gonna say that they're gonna have that for five minutes. When it alerts, uh, when it ends, I want it to alert. And then I'll set it to auto advance just so we can see what that looks like. I'm gonna add an action in here, and that is gonna to be to navigate into Safari, find a bookmark, and let's say I'm gonna ask them to just have a look at the Welsh uh, Digital Competence Framework. You'll see over here, that's now gonna tell me to navigate to this page. And I can add in additional actions in here as well. I can lock them in the app, and I can set whether this is gonna to go to all students or just to some students. If I go to add action, I could, after that, I might then ask it to lock the device, etc. But at this point, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I can then add a new item in here. So my next item then might be to focus. And at focus, I'm gonna alert. I'm gonna ask them to focus maybe for a couple of minutes because this is where we're gonna have some feedback on what we've done as that activity. I'm gonna add an action here, which is just gonna be to lock the students' devices. And there we go, all set. If I go back now, you can see that this is my agenda that's been set. And I can go into my classes and I can see what this is gonna look like then for the students. So on the student's device, I'm gonna go into the classes, go to demo class. At the top here now, I can see I have this new tab, which is my agendas, and I can go to open agenda. And on this agenda, I'm just gonna set our demo that we've just created. You see that timer's come up. There's that navigate button and auto advance. So I'm just gonna say, yep, yeah, we're gonna to navigate to this. So that's now navigated to the student device. Great, you can see the student's device is now opened up on that page and we can start our timer. There we go, so now I don't need to do anything else because at the end of this, it's gonna set that time um, and it's gonna move on to that focus where it's gonna give me that additional option to then lock it. We still have all our same controls at the top. This is just setting that agenda within my lesson. Now, if I could just jump forward a few minutes and go to our focus section, 
I'm just going to pause this one here under this and I'm going to play this one instead. Now you'll notice here this has given me a split screen mode in Classroom. So I've now got a view of all the student stuff, but now I've got my agendas as a separate section. So you can really take control of what you're going to do. Now I'm just going to imagine that we've jumped forward in this. So I'm just going to lock the students' devices. You'll see again, that's just quickly jumped to that. So all we've created is a way for me to be able to set those things in my lesson. Everything's there in place. I can just go through that agenda, tap the things that I want it to do, done. Students' devices are locked. We're having that research conversation about the things they found. And then I can just carry on with that and unlock the devices, etc., and move on through. So there we go. Apple Classroom update with agendas. I'm sure people will have some great ideas and uses for this in their classrooms. And I'd love people to share some of those ideas in the comments section below. Good luck.